Okay, today I'm going to do a uh, hive split. Some people call it a walk away split. I've also seen it called a uh, nurse bee split. Looks like nurse bee split would be more appropriate. Uh, I've done a split before. It's where I took the queen out along with some honeycomb and moved her over to the, uh, the other hive. And uh, on the second attempt, I was successful. This attempt, what I'm going to do is locate the queen. I'm going to locate some honeycomb with eggs. I'm going to leave the queen in the original hive, and I'm going to move some. I'm going to move some of the honeycomb with eggs over to the empty hive. I also have some drawn-out comb that I'm going to leave in here. I'm also going to move some of the uh, nurse bees over here from a couple other combs over here. Just making sure I don't get the queen over here. And then uh, button it up. I'm going to close the door up. This time what I may do if it doesn't get too warm is I may button this up for three days and then open it up and the worker bees will reorientate. The first time I tried this, I put brush at the front. Uh, they didn't reorientate and all the worker bees flew over to the original hive. Didn't work out so well. Second time I put more brush on the entrance and that, seemed, that worked out well. But uh, this time I think I'm just going to button it up for three days and uh, then let them come out and then they'll they'll do the reorientation flight. So anyways, it's still just a tiny bit cool with the, the hive sitting over here in the shade. The bees are just now starting to come out and move around a little bit, but it's gonna get warm today. So I need to go ahead and knock this out now. But uh, the primary thing is I gotta find that queen and I've gotta find me some, uh, some cells with some eggs in it. So anyways, I wanna get set up and see what I can find. I'm just arranging everything where I can button this up quickly once I get the uh, honeycomb in there or the comb with the eggs and all that good stuff. So as you can see I got some old drawn comb in there. We're going to put a couple of top bars right here from the other hive and uh, let them continue working out of that. Lots of nectar there. Okay, finally found the queen. She's over here on my honey stores. She's right there. Now I gotta find some cells with eggs. I think I found some. <sighs> yeah, there should be eggs right there. Okay, very good. All right, that's that's the battle right there. Okay, with that found, I'm going to move this over to the new hive. Okay. And I'm going to find some with some honey stores. Shake off some nurse bees in here. I'll grab this one. This has got some honey stores. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and button this one up. Alright, what I'm going to supplement them with is some sugar water. Now I do mine internally back behind the follower board. So I've got my follower board here where I can control the size of the hive. And then right behind that, this sets. And it's a dual mason jar feeder. That way it keeps all the pests from the outside being able to get to it. This is literally located at the back inside of the hive. This is sealed up. Okay, so we're done with that. 
Now come over here. I've got the entrance all closed off right here where nothing can come and go. What I'm going to do is let them sit in here for three days. That way they have to reset their little internal GPS. But in the meantime, they can feed off of the honey stores in here and also the uh, sugar water. Now these bees will realize here after a while that they're queenless. So they'll take uh, some of those cells that have eggs in them and they'll form uh, queen cells. Absolutely love these top bar systems. You can literally go through an entire hive without even smashing a single bee. They stay so calm and docile for the most part. <laughs> Occasionally you'll have one that's a little pissy. But I think that just comes with the gender. Okay, that should be all to that. So after three days, I'll open up the entrance, let those foragers come out and start doing their thing. And then after 10 days, what I'll do is I'll open up the hive and see if I've got some queen cells. If I don't, no harm, no foul to the original hive because I wasn't planning on uh, collecting any honey this year from that hive anyways. So anyways, we'll see how that works out. I'll see you guys in about 10 days.